We are not going to get mad at Mr. Matt. He just... Dude, he's mad. been rocking he's with a, me for a minute. He's, he's super goat, cool. Bro. I'm telling he's you, he is, dude. He does all of our editing and everything, man. Shout out to motherfucking Poe Medium. Right, you know what I'm saying? What's Hell up? yeah. Like, he's always rocks it. Yeah, see, you finally get our meet yeah. our editor. Yeah. That's yeah, what's up, yeah. man. Jesse <laughs> kind of like made his way into being my, my co-host. So like when I be having other podcasts and stuff, I'd be like, hit him up, like, bye, 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 bye. What are you doing? Send me videos, like, this is your <laughs> yeah. homework. This is your Not homework. Send me videos, or, you know. Yup. Like, I can swim, so he likes to throw me in water. You know? <laughs> now, no, we, we've done podcasts to where, like, I'm like, hey, we ain't doing no research on this person. Yeah. We're right. going to do absolutely no research. Which yeah. Which is cool. Yeah, and, like, we popped it off. Be like, and who the f are you? Yeah. You know okay. what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so, that I mean. Dino. He's awesome. He's super cool. He is awesome. Yeah, dude. And we end up, like, he ended up being a cool-ass cat. He got something out with Charlie P. Yeah, see Right that. now, yeah. It was yeah. super fucking dope. Yeah. Yeah. Been yeah. following but, him on Instagram. Yeah, but he, like, he, like, does work with the Jonas Brothers mm -hmm. and oh, all. Shit. And, yeah, like, a bunch of stuff and you got that badass Mercedes. I was like, okay. Cool. You know? Yeah, cool <laughs> ass cat, cool ass cat. He's young too. So he's super fresh, super mm -hmm. gonna get into it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think he's like 30. Yeah. You know, yeah. 30 on the money. He, does it, he, he, he likes doing business with married men because we have values, which was cool. I you like know? that. Yeah. yeah. Straight up, you don't you know, hear that. that. Well, that that's huge though. Mm -hmm. And like me, um, I have three phones, but I always say, hey, look, you can't call me after nine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm hitting do not disturb. That's the best feature I've ever seen on them things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I promise you, I was life, limb, or eyesight. Yeah, yeah. You know, if one of those three things ain't fucking with you right now, like, if you ain't about to lose your life, limb, or your eyesight, don't call don't me call after me. nine. <laughs> do not hit me up. Now, if I'm drunk on a Friday night, I might send you a meme at 1030. You ain't got to respond yeah, until you're taking me Saturday morning shit. I got like 15 a day from you, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I've been cut all, I've cut my workload so much down, right? Yeah. So I've been like being able to be at the house, annoy the fuck out of my wife and play my kids. You know, it's just amazing. Yeah. That's what yeah. it's about. Yeah. Oh, it's, it, is. it is. So like I've been trying to dial back and I've always told, I've always told the wife, I'm like, look, after we do this, mm -hmm. right? Cause I, I, I goal out everything that I do. Okay. I, all my projects, all my things, any businesses that I got going on, I set goals mm -hmm. on all of them, right? And then they have small goals in between the bigger goals and everything else. And I'm like very strategic with it. So yeah. I always tell them like, so after this, right, I'm gonna be straight. Like mm -hmm. we could just chill. We don't have to work so much, but then I managed to find three other projects while I'm working on that project, yeah. right? Yeah. So then I'm like, I'll get this done, so then I'd take on a vacation. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. like, let's just go out, of, you know, we'll go out of the country, go out of the state, right. whatever, we'll go to the beach. Yeah. And then I took it back and I'm like, and I gotta go back to work. She said, yeah. babe, I thought you said you were gonna chill. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I know that I said that, and I love you, but. Remember. Ah. <laughs> Remember <laughs> who I am. Yeah, yeah. Like so, you're rewarding your successes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, working yeah. up to a, a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I think that in your 30s, you're in your prime. Yeah. I think that you're just in the best in your 30s. Um, I was a fucking idiot in my 20s. I didn't know anything. You know what I'm saying? I should have been sitting down to piss. Like, I didn't know what the fuck was going on in my life. <laughs> like, I started hitting my 30s, and I'm like, oh, you're not supposed to cheat on girls, and you're supposed to do good business. Yep. Huh. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Started doing all this good shit, mm -hmm. and then good business with people, and then I'm like, Good vibes. Son of a sh you know what I'm the saying? Best vibes been happening. Uh, you yeah. know, I'm like, well, this is the way it's supposed to roll. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to roll. And good. You can feel that. When yeah, you, you can fully right, feel it. Yeah. Right only follows you. Calm yeah, it, it is. is. Straight it's up. Super yeah. good. Yeah. What thing. you put out there comes back to you. you yep. Know? Tenfold. Yep. And, and you know, you and you harness the energy and get it out, mm -hmm. and you really start connecting. Manifest and and whatever you want. I'm telling you. Right? I'm telling you. Yeah. Like I've been working on a bunch of things. And like, I'm getting new projects and then new people been jumping in them and it's been good. And I'm like, damn, why are y'all fucking with me? You know what I'm saying? It don't, it don't make no sense to me sometimes, you know? But at the same token, I'm like, ah, it's because I'm getting up out here and getting it. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But so you're like, I want this and then you show up with it. Mm -hmm. You know, or you're like, hey, I'm gonna do this and then here it is. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I and you just manifesting. Goals. Goals. Yeah. Manifesting is Dude, crazy. You made up your word. And that's yeah. You gotta pull up. Far and few between right now. Yeah, know? but you just gotta pull up. Sure, yeah. That you just gotta pull up. Sometimes just pulling up. Get your hands right. Down. Even if like, it, you say you gotta do something, and then people are expecting it. Yeah, give it you your all. You know what I'm saying? So then you just have to fucking pull you gotta up. Gotta deliver. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even if you can't deliver it to the fullest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, look, I couldn't, I couldn't get the fucking, I couldn't get the hundred percent. 
but I'm here standing with you, and, and I got 90. 60. Yeah, yeah. Even well, 60. People recognize yeah. effort. People yeah. recognize real it. Real recognize real. Yeah. Always. Well, yeah. I've always been told that if uh, if you if you break down, right, and you stand out there, and you got your thumb out, and you waiting on somebody to come help you, you're going to get a thousand cars to pass yeah. you. But if you start pushing that fucking car, you're going to get a lot of people to stop, to hop out, and jump out, and start pushing that with you. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to see somebody just stand there waiting on a nope. handout. Nope. You know, they want to they want to see some yeah. going for it. They want to they want to push for it. Now, yeah, know? they want to okay, I see you. I see you going to do something, you know. And I and I do that with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, I try to bring up a lot of people because if I see it in them, I'm like, "Look, I want you to push yourself. I want you to get yourself up." Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to give you the leg up as much as I could possibly do it. Yep. So I'm going to try to put you in the car the best way that I could do it, you know what I'm saying? Because someone once did it for me mm-hmm. while I was grinding. And, and if I see you grinding, else, you know? yeah, and you and you just continue that chain because there's levels to the shit, and you're going to get to this next level by fully making it. Yep. You know what bar. I'm saying? That's a bar. Straight yeah, up. it really is going to make life. it. It's going to happen, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It has happened. Yeah, it has I've happened. seen, I mean, small ones and big ones. <laughs> yeah. Hey, did we ever click these? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it was really hard. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen I don't know. just say something tiny, like, for instance, like Pokemon. I open packs, and he's like, you're going to pull this card. I pulled that card twice. Yep. Because speaking it. Oh yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. And then all I gotta say is, Nah, I'm not. And he's just like, Don't say. It. <laughs> Come on, let's. What are you talking? About? You know what I'm saying? You just gotta be optimistic on everything. It, it, it doesn't matter what it it's is. It's a cross board. It's skateboarding. Yeah, right? skateboarding. I fucking love to skate. Right. And right. I was listening to uh, Sam Wise. Right. Mm-hmm. He does the blog and stuff. And he's like a. He's like in his 40s. And this dude goes out and eats shit. Right. But he sits there and he'll uh, he'll attempt it. Seven, eight, mm-hmm. ten times, so and then it. he fucking lands it right. And I was watching the video that he just dropped the other day, like yesterday. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's cool. He's a friend. I talk to him. We sit and rap. He's, he's a cool ass cat, and um, I'm a big supporter. Yeah. And he fucking uh, dude. He's got a uh, fakey uh, fifty fifties, and then a, a big fl- a big spin yeah. out. And okay. I'm like, bro, you getting good? Yeah. Like, damn, dude, you getting good at this shit? Like, you really actually shining out? Like. Like all this practice that you keep putting in, keep putting it in. But he said this one thing on his blog, and he was like, uh, he was like, as a skater, you know if you're gonna land the trick before you ever even attempt it. Yeah, it's all in your mind. Is that won't work. Everything is in your mind. Mm-hmm. It's commitment. Yes. And follow through with belief and faith. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You believe that you're going to land this. You're gonna land right? It. You're going to make it. Yeah. And there's times that I'll walk out, right? And I'll jump on the board and I'll be like, boom, pressure flip first try. Yeah. Double flip first double try. Flip, yeah. Tray flip first try. Impossible first try. And I'm just sitting on my front porch. Yeah. And I'm like, how the fuck, man? If anybody was around, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Crazy, yeah. yeah, like, damn, he He's needs like to be that. a professional. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, I never land those. But I came out clear mind. Thinking positive, yeah, and I'm yeah. just like, oh, nonchalant, boom, boom, yeah. boom, boom, and I'm like, man, you know. But it's the power I'm of your mind. Everything. Mm-hmm. It's the power right. of your mind. Right. It really is. We yeah. Have power. We I'm have telling power, you. you know? And aliens are real. <laughs> That's true. He snapped that shit. He snapped that shit. Man. <laughs> nonchalant. Yeah, nonchalant. Nonchalant. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You know. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I just believe in truth. Well, everything has a nugget of truth in it. You know, everything. I've That's already true. delved into a lot of that stuff. Even a joke. Yeah, even a joke. Even yeah, a joke. Straight up. Yeah. Yep. Like the CIA released all that alien footage the year of COVID. Which yeah. Is very coincidental. You no, know? it's not coincidental. No, yeah, there ain't they, no coincidence. No, no, no. Like, why are you at home? Look at this. You know, hey, I check wanna, this hey, out. I want to see that shit. Right? Like, yeah, it nah. was uh, 600 and some pages, and the last page was the JFK stuff. But there's hella redacted. But, redact- but there's hella no, redacted. Okay. Just uh, like redacted. Yeah, it's, it's all redacted. Super redacted. But the CIA, yeah. like, where they intervened with it. They're like, okay, we was at this residence when these people claimed to be probed and these people claimed to be abducted. It's like eyewitness accounts, but it's redacted. It's just like, right. showed up, aliens were present next page showed up aliens are present and it's like all the way from like 60s forward yeah yeah oh, like roswell new yeah. mexico the black mailbox like 1962 stuff like that but, yeah. th- but yeah. then again they just up and moved you know they'd be up in alaska yeah. they, i mean it's the yeah. world it's easy to yeah. it's easy to yeah. navigate like they could just get up Antarctica, and dip. that might be where they could be we well i mean go, go look at you ain't getting over that no because it's flat this we ain't doing this <laughs> oh lord we ain't doing this look first off i fly Okay, and the the first time I got in a plane, this man Chessy full of shit right now. If he's seen this right now, he would know, right? Because there'd be a mountain right here, right? right. And as you're coming around, right? Because the fucking world is a circle, right? It's a sphere, <laughs> so it's not flat. <laughs> Look, you, as you're flying around, you gonna see it right here at eye level. You gonna be like, yeah. damn. But as you keep going, you way over it. 
Because you know what your altitude is and you know how high that mountain is. If that's 6,000 feet and you 8,000 feet, you know you're going to clear that motherfucker. I need to be there next but time. But if you, if you cruising and in a circle, you're going to see it at eye level at one point, but then you're just going to pass it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, well, there it is. That's all the proof I need to know. Other than that, we live in a simulation. I don't know if I can give a shit. That is, you know, that is crazy. <laughs> we got NPCs everywhere, you know? Look, I was messing with Alex last night, right? Because, you know, I, I believe in God. I believe in Creator. And, you know, and I don't like to spark up those crazy conversations. Mm-hmm. Right. But uh, I was messing with her because, you know, I like Elon Musk. But I like business. Mm-hmm. So that's why I like Elon Musk. Because I like business. Business man. Yeah. 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 And he's fucking great. You know, I am a money man. I like to fucking figure out how we can make this money. Yeah. So it's just, it's just a tool. It's just a system. And we just fucking play with it until we figure it out. So I was like, well, we are living in a simulation. She was like, well, then, all right. So just say we were. How how would you say that we were? Right. Now I was like, well, you believe we have a creator. Right. Okay. We believe we have a creator. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yes, for sure. Right. So, time, there's no such thing as time in heaven, yeah. right? No mm-hmm. such thing as time in heaven, right? We operate time down here as we do the same as a, it's a tool, yeah. Yeah. right? It's just a mechanism that we created so mm-hmm. that we can, you know, figure out when I need how to meet you. Work work. Yeah, how we have a 5 p.m. Yeah. podcast, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, how much to work, everything's ran on systems mm-hmm. and numbers. Right. So everything that we do is time, right? But. A lot of people focus on their time on earth and how they're living and everything else and opposed to focus on spirituality, where do we come from? Now we do have a lot of individuals that do that, Mm -hmm. right? And everybody has their own consensus of what the truth is, right? right? But if you think about it, one, we have a creator, right? And in Call of Duty, everything that I'm doing, I'm rocking them, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And in SimCity, everything that you're doing is you're creating, right? You're yeah. creating the world. You're trying to figure out how to systematically place it all in order, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So what you do is you give everybody different personalities. What type of person is this? What type of person is this? It takes all different types of people to run the world, yep. right? You have to have the good, the bad, the ugly, mm-hmm. and the other, right? And I said, well, put it into a higher being, right? Let's just say, now, now we did just watch that new Adam Sandler movie. Right. Yeah, yeah. With the spiders. The spider, yeah. 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 It's it's really crazy. You gotta watch it. It's a serious Adam Sandler movie, you gotta watch Which it. Which has never happened. Yeah, right. so we're just talking like real hypotheticals, it's just crazy, right? So they tr- cruise all the way out and they go to the beginning. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The beginning. And they have all these little particles and everything else. And like the whole nine and they have a spider, he's talking to them and it's wild, but but just just say simulation. Those are our beings. Yeah. Right. Okay. We got stars up above us that are just cameras. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like they the move Truman show, so just like speak. the Truman Show. Yeah. You know, those are just cameras that are following because that's your creator. Yeah. All of our creators are different. Mm-hmm. Every single creator is different. If you follow different religions, then some people believe in X and some people believe in Y. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So everybody has their own creator. Mm-hmm. Everybody has their own thought process, right? So if we created our Sim City, we'd have all these different personalities. Some people worked as a baker and some people worked as so that we could sustain the people that we are. Yeah. Right. Because we need because, our body. Because it, we need our body. Mm-hmm. So the, the creator is like, hey, let's throw your soul in there. You know, it's like a badass VR system. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So like, you know, and you up in the club over here and you're like, damn, I slipped need some food. Like, why the fuck would you need to go into a restaurant in a fucking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But, you know, they're so far advanced ahead of us that, that they have that technology. Mm-hmm. Think about if we had the technology like Element 115 yeah. to where they could cross it. It was like Element 116 or whatever. And then fucking they make it to where there's no gravity. Yeah. Right. These are real elements that they know of that make it anti-gravity, right? Yeah. So they could push him off, make it into a sphere, and he could travel through, Yeah, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And in the movie, he talks about the black holes, you know, and you know about the black holes, but we don't know anything about the black holes. No, we just know but if gold. we have a specific element that is indestructible, along with an element that propulses anti-gravity yeah. to where we could shoot, and we don't need a uh, gas, we don't yeah. need anything like that, we don't need fuel to kickstart, to kickstart yeah. or anything else like that, we could just travel with it, amongst the fucking the nuclear and the fucking ow however they fucking do it they're way ahead of us my mind couldn't do yeah. it you know math yeah, but they even fucking shoot through go through a black hole it's just like an exit off the freeway it is yeah you know what i'm saying there's they don't thousands know where it's end. there's yeah they don't know where it's, <laughs> what maybe they do or maybe they have the coordinates 50s. to where they're shooting they out might. you know what i'm saying because i'm pretty sure that they have the solar system all locked they know what the fuck's like going on it's them. just like a mapped out yeah. you know and you know that this is earth and these are different places but they have a creator and they have the whole shebang through it you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying and other people have built better societies 
Yeah. I mean, we've played war and stuff like that where these other people have built way bigger ones and you're like, damn it, I'm still on level three. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't I get here. here. Yeah, I just got here. You know what I'm saying? Like, Y'all got cinder blocks. You know. I was using six. <laughs> get your prestige up. It's like, get your prestige up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like the little games on your phone, right? Where you're like, you're playing yeah. and you gotta like travel and then kill somebody and then like you get gold, bring it back and you bring wood and then you like build up your little empire, right? Mm -hmm. But you already know people that have been playing it for three years, their fucking empire is insane. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They already got space jets cruising through. Yeah. So if you went to war with them, they'd be fucked. But in the same <laughs> token, you know, it's still a creator. There's still a creator behind it. You know, yeah. and, and I fully believe that there's a creator no matter how you think of it or yeah. how you want to believe it. There's so, I mean, so maybe to them, we are the simulation to them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the ants in the farm. I mean, we, the dope ass we just don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, we don't know. Yeah. We just don't. like ants in a farm. Mm -hmm. you know? I mean, yeah, you're his creator. Straight up. Right? To my dog, I am God. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's true. I'm the one who feeds him, I'm the one who takes mm -hmm. care of him and every time he fucking is having a bad day I'm gonna scratch his belly yep. yeah. you know what I'm saying <laughs> so so whenever and I'm around he's away. yeah and yeah. everything goes away yeah. right Yeah. so you know I like to watch a lot of those uh, the near death experiences yeah. right yeah. have you seen those no nah. where, where people die like legit die you know back. and then they come back okay right? and they tell don't they, and they tell you what they've seen they everything else that. right yeah. so um I've seen these ones, and it's crazy because they, they also piggyback on a, on a different uh, show, but it's, it's crazy, I'll, I'll explain it. I think I've talked with you about it, but um, what they do is they all have the general same thing that it they're awake. Okay. Do you know how you feel like this lethargic, you have like this down, like you're not full of fucking energy all the time, yeah. like you're not the most wise, you're not the most like, you're yeah. not all the way on you're point, just, oh, right? right? So, yeah. Like like you, that feeling when you're 12 years old and you were just fucking high energy yeah. and you're like, but imagine having all the knowledge that you have now, but with that same awakeness that you had then, right? Without all the toxins and everything else. Yeah. That's how they describe it is the second you die, you get this immediate awakeness. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you're just fucking awake, awake. Yeah. Right? And now you can see and view everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. And they always talk about a light. They always go towards the light, mm -hmm. right? They're always ending the fucking game. The fucking light's going up, and they're like, hey, now I'm a spirit. But you're only conscious. You're only the mind. You don't like, you can look down and see your body a lot of the times. They say that. Well, you know, you can see yeah, it. Yeah, like then, astral projection. So yeah, 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 yeah. You're like outer body experience. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To where you can see your body, but you're lifting up and you're leaving out. Yeah. So you're going back towards that beginning. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That big ass purple thing in the middle of the sky. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that we have that we always just speculate on what that is. Well, yeah, you know, yeah. it's gases and stuff like that. We don't know. We don't. You know, but why would we know? Mm -hmm. Right? The people that are playing the game, that are in the game, the sim creator or the yeah. sim people, they have no idea who you are. They just mm -hmm. understand, right? That that's why they say with the manifest, as well as we always are big on this manifest. When you speak to your God, and a lot of people believe that they are their own God. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that they fully believe they are their own God. Mm -hmm. When they speak to their own God, you are manifesting what you want. Yeah. When you're staying faithful and you're talking to them, right? And you are manifesting what you want, and that shit happens, and that shit comes to fruition. And the more that you talk to your God, who you are supposed to interline mm -hmm. with, he's not going to speak back. He's going to give you actions. Yep. Right? He's going to put obstacles in your life and opportunities in your life that you're like, this was the fucking opportunity I was talking about I needed. Yep. That's right. And, and only sometimes to you. Yeah. some t and only to better you. He only shoots to better you, mm -hmm. right? True. Now the obstacles, you know that's from the other side. Yeah. Right. Whatever you believe in, right. that's from the other the side. Opposite. Because yeah. you have to have yin and yang. Yeah. 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 And a lot of times when shit's happening, right? And I look at the wife and I'm like, "Look, I know all this shit's going on, right? But it's yin and yang, that means something great's going to happen. And we keep the faith and we keep rolling on mm -hmm. our, and we stand on our business and we keep going on what the fuck we our goal it. was. Yep. Yeah. And we make it every fucking time. Yeah. And it's happened every fucking time. And a lot of the times whenever I gave up and I was like, you know what? It ain't going to happen. I'm just going to curve that. It ain't going to happen. But if it does, that'd be dope. It never happens. Never fucking happens. Mm. But if I stand on that business and mm -hmm. I push forth that effort, I'm like, no, 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 no. We ain't playing that shit. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. They ain't going to stop my stride. They ain't going, they, yeah. nope, they ain't fucking with me. Yeah. Let's roll, let's roll. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you have to think that 
all those obstacles have to get put in your place. Yeah. Because you can't. What better way to test faith. Yeah, what better way to test faith. You can't give your kids the keys to your car when he's 12. Nope, nah. You could hook him up when he's 19. Mm -hmm. But when he's 12, he's not ready for it, right? But if you sat there and threw all them obstacles in his face, made him sit down on a simulator and sit there and drive, and every time we got into the car, you took that extra 10 minutes to explain every little thing about what the car is Mm -hmm. and how this is operating X, Y, and Z, they're gonna sit there and be like, okay, they're gonna listen. They're gonna listen, they're gonna listen. So by the time if they was 12, he had all them obstacles thrown in his face. He gonna be driving that shit. Yeah, he's ready. You know what I'm and saying? It's he's old ready. News. Yeah, you know, he's like, and it's old news. Oh, I you know. knew that. Yeah. Oh, I knew that. I know how to do that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I learned that when I was 12. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, that's the way it operates. You driving a stick at 30? Come on. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, hell yeah. But like, I bought a car for three hundred and eighty dollars. It was a '87 CRX, a little okay. Honda, yeah. a little hatchback, two seater, mm-hmm. and it was a stick shift. Never good drove a stick gas, shift though. in my life. Hella good on gas. But it blew up on me, so fuck that car. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the it was a stick shift, and I got in it, and I was like, yeah, bet. And I bought it, but we pulled up like as everybody's trying to leave and everything else, and they were like, here, cool, the car is yours. I was like, bet, I got it. And my homeboy that came and brought me there, he already took off, because I was like, bro, I know how to drive, dude. Yeah. You tripping. Yeah. I get in there, I'm like, what the fuck? Where's park and drive? Right. Right, why do I got oh, three pedals? Shit. Yeah. Right, I'm like, oh shit. I call my dad. I'm like, hey, look, I got a, st- I, I think I got a stick shift. What is this? He's like, this is a stick shift. And I was like, oh, okay. So he told me over the phone, right? Yep. But man, I'm. Bah, 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 yep. Bah, bah, you were bah. Bah. But look, by the time I made it back to the house, though, I was like, shit, okay. Bro, yeah. Hell yeah, I got it down now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hell yeah, but. But the thing was, I had an obstacle I had to get over real quick. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like he was like, it ain't nothing, dude. Just do this, X, Y, and Z, and you can got it. And yeah. I was like, okay, cool. I can figure this out real quick. So I figured it out real mm-hmm. quick, and I was able to do it. Yeah. That's my little obstacle. And after that was second, it. Yeah. You yep. drive anything. Now I thought it was a shit. Right? Hell yeah. And then I found out the <laughs> e-brake. Let me drive. I'm like, oh no, I got an e-brake on this <laughs> right. motherfucker. I'm sliding up <laughs> everywhere right? for just no reason. <laughs> er, what's up? Hey, what's yeah. up? Er, what up? Right? What's happening? Hell yeah, for no reason. That's the best kind of break. That is, I promise you. you know? That is. That is the best kind of break. I seen a dude in my apartment. We were sitting out front one time and just drinking. And uh, we, were, we were playing some cards. And this dude come in. And there was three girls. And they were walking across in the apartments. Right? And they're walking across in the apartments. And this dude come in. He thumping. He got this little Saturn. Right? And I was like, look at this dude. He like revved it up a little bit. And I was like, oh, man. I want to watch this dude. This is funny. So he thought he was like this shit, right? So he gassed it. What? And he went around. Well, you could see the look in his eyes when he was like, oh shit, I'm getting out of control. Yeah. So he slid up, boom, slammed right into the curb. You could hear the tire, Mm. right? I was like, ah! (laughs) The girls started laughing their ass off. Man, that shit ain't funny, man. He like had to pull up, get up into the parking space. <laughs> that was tough. I was like, do man, do it again. Do a kick flip. Do a kick. Straight up. That shit was way too fucking funny, and I was like, man. That's what it usually happens. Yep. And they're like trying to show Someone off. Trying to yep. Flex. Yep. yep. Every time. Hell yeah. No, my uh, my grandma was sitting there telling me one time, and she was like, yeah, uh, there was there was this girl, and she was running. And she had them spandex on and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm looking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, like, she looks at me and she goes, don't wreck the car. And I was like, I ain't going to wreck the car, Grandma. I didn't think she saw that I was looking, right? And uh, I was young. Yeah. And um, I fucking, she goes, you know, your grandpa wrecked his car like that. And I was like, what? She was like, yeah. He saw some girls and they were running. And he, could, he was just so astounded and angry. <laughs> that they were wearing those clothes that he ended up wrecking. And I was like, yeah, man, he was pissed, Grandma. Yeah. Real pissed. Right. Like, I can't. That's why I was, I am upset. I am appalled. I am man. appalled she's wearing. Let's turn back. I'm going to go say something to her. Yeah. Let's pull up over here. You're right, Grandma. Like, you know? <laughs> it's this, the is unacceptable. Just, this is unacceptable. Got his head down, but looking out. You know what I'm saying? Damn. 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 <laughs> I know, but I don't want to stop you girls from running. <laughs> you messed up the rear view. <laughs> it's really helping your body. All of it. Cardio mat. Yeah. Cardio mat. I promise you. Traffic jam. Yeah, just traffic jam. That shit's way too funny. That happens, though. And that's in movies, man. Seen that the other day? Or like, okay, so 
Joe, you, you know Joe. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yep. One day I'm in the truck with him and we're just driving down the road. He forgets he's on phone with his lady, right? And then running down the street and they hey girl. And he's like, oh shit. <laughs> 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 he was on the phone with his Damn. Oh, so dude, that's, that's super tight. Yeah, <laughs> gave himself away. You know, yeah. that's how it happens. Same yeah. thing happened to me. I'm with one of my buddies at the Bristol Mall, and like, I'm like, man, these are some beautiful girls. They get out of the car, long haired dudes, just like me. Oh, that's All we oh. seen was the back of the hair, you know? And I'm like, man, these are going to be some beautiful girls when they get out. They got nope. out, and they're like, no. Nope. What's up, bro? You're I like, damn, Shelly dude. Immediately. I'm like, the one time I go to say a girl's hot, it was a dude. Yeah, you see, uh, you <laughs> seen Cheech and Chong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when they first meet. That's how they met. Right. Right. They first move, they, where they very first meet is he's driving down the road and uh, Chong's fucking bent over and got like the little Daisy Dudes right. with the little fucking shirt. False advertising. Yeah, straight yeah. false. He's like, he's like, oh man, what the fuck, you a dude? dude. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, thanks man, this is the only way I was gonna get anybody to stop. And it worked. It worked. You gotta be careful now, yep. I mean, Nah, dude, listen. You gotta make sure. I promise you, look, I, I said it. I, the shoes. It, you're right, I'm <laughs> telling you shoes. real quick, the fucking boot trick. <laughs> no, but um, I, I, I always said this because it, this girl pulled up. I, I got this rental car, right? And it was a nice-ass Camaro. Yeah. And I was like, fuck yeah. I was like 2010, 11. So I pull up, and I'm downtown Nashville. Mm -hmm. And this girl comes up to the window. And I'm at, a, I'm at a red light. And she looked good as fuck. And I was like, what's up? And she's like, hey, my car broke down. Is there any way? And I was like, and I had my pistol. And I just felt sketch. I'm yeah. in downtown Nashville. And I was like, y'all need me to get out? She was like, no, no, you straight. Yeah. Right. Set up. Yeah, yeah. and I was like, okay, yep. And then I had a conversation with my wife about this years later. And I'm like, you know, I don't fuck with that shit. If somebody broke down on the side of the road, I don't care, girl, whatever, I don't play that shit. Mm -hmm. yep. You know what I'm saying? I'm not getting I'm not gonna pull over. I'm not wow. gonna be that good Samaritan. I'm gonna keep it ain't my business. Nope. Right. And it sounds fucked up. But the whole thing is, now if it's an old lady, then you even feel even worse because yeah. then you're like, damn, but it still could be a setup. These people yeah. are on that shit. Grandma, Anything help me out. Now. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Fucked up. No, the you know what I'm saying? The the but that's real shit. The next morning, I'm going to work. After we having this conversation, I see this girl, blonde hair, broke down, right? And I'm like, oh, I ain't stopping. Yep. Nope. She's like waving. I'm like, no, 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 no. And I'm just gonna keep on going up. I'm like, nah, I ain't playing Track? that. Ah, yeah. And what are the odds a baddie broke down like that? It's a million people she could call. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, no, 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 you, no, you yeah. need to be sitting yeah. inside yeah. your vehicle, yeah. calling your you people. Were. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, exactly. Nah, no, yeah. Sit, get That's back in your vehicle. DOT's a thing. Just wait for V dot or T dot or whatever state you end up pass by. Ain't nobody driving without full coverage anymore, anyways. Right? Yeah. That shit been dead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And driving you, without insurance. Ain't nobody driving without a cell phone. You know, they, so, ain't no, ain't yeah. no girl not attached to her cell phone. Yeah, or a guy she can't call. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, that's I'm one saying. thing. Even ugly girls can bang anybody they want. And they can I'm call saying. anybody. You know? yep. They be like, so, hey, free. I'm broke down. <laughs> and he's like, oh, free pussy. <laughs> Buy me a car. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And it yeah. works. And yeah. it works. And dudes yeah. are like, yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> weak as fuck. Like, we yeah. weak as fuck. Everybody, it's true. Everybody yeah. Hell yeah. Works weak hard, as fuck. He works hard. No, the hardest worker in the world is an ugly stripper. Yep. Because you know? they got to work hard. And then men are below that. You know? Yeah, and the men are right <laughs> below <laughs> that. Yeah. It don't matter. But, dude, all we do is work for the ugly stripper. Yep. You know what I'm That's saying? It. That's at the end of the day. It don't right? even matter. Look. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it all for the nookie. What did Biscuit say? Right. And I, and I try not to say it like that because, you know, I'm a happily yeah. married man. But in the reality of things, when I was getting with my girl, I'm like, oh, I got to make money so I can impress her. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right? And yeah. then I want to make enough money to, drive a, to drive a certain car. To drive a certain car. Mm -hmm. Yep, That's have all. that certain bag. The whole night. You know? Yep, have all that. So, like, I'm grinding for her. And then when she gives it to you, Right now you got kids. Yeah. yeah. Now you like now I gotta grind for her to take harder. care of the kids with yep. me. But also yep. maintain that. And now I got yep. Now I gotta I maintain be better it. Better than my best. Yep. So now, I'm just used to that. Now, now yep. you gotta work ten times harder. Yeah. I'm gonna throw my back out. Yep. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. And at the end yeah. of the day, the so only thing stop. you get on yep. your birthday. It's some pussy. Yep. That's it. And we'll take it. And we'll take it. I'm happy. <laughs> and I'm happy with it. I'm like, thank you. You put the red thing on tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The kids will we'll sleep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Run yeah. that. Oh, yeah. 
Yep. Smokey said, give me three and a half minutes. Yep, that's it. <laughs> yep, I'll be playing Call of Duty in 10. <laughs> Thank you, baby. That was right? great. Can you grab me a beer while you're up? Yeah. <laughs> yep. and, uh, and then I'm happy. That's, the women, men are so fucking that's simple. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. All we it are takes. so simple. Right? Yep. Yeah. That in is. the mirror like, man. Yeah. I'm the yeah. fucking man, yeah. right? Straight oh, up, did you always I'm feel him. like doing better shit yeah. afterward, too? I'm yeah. Him. yeah, you always look like you're like, yeah, I know why she fucked with me. Right? You know what I'm saying? 30 minutes ago, you were like, damn, I know why she ain't fucking with me. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, too, that, that's another thing. That's a, Once yeah. the deed's done, they can look at you and ask for anything and they're going to get it. Yep. You know, oh my like, god. Trash is still I'll get it, baby. Yep. What, what, Shit. Ten, what ten minutes before be too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, ten minutes before. You just think that you we about to get it. About I'm like, baby, yeah. I, yeah, I was gonna go wash your car right after I took yeah. out the trash. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Run that. You know? like, oh, yeah, I planned that. What you talking about? The hell yeah. <laughs> you don't need to remind me. The whole time. Man. Yeah, I know what you wanted. <laughs> yeah. You seen that um I seen this thing and he was like how to get your girl to uh or how to how to get your girl to pick what fucking food she wants. Mm -hmm. And this is a thing, dude. I, it's, you can't ever figure out what the fuck a woman no, wants to eat. Yeah. What you want, it don't matter. It don't matter. If it don't matter. It, okay. Why, when I pick something, you're going to say no. Yeah. Right? You know? So it matters. He was it like, matters. bro, you just hit it with the guess where I'm taking you tonight. Guess where we're going. First answer you go. First thing, you'd be like, damn, you read my mind. This is crazy, right? <laughs> She's like, Korean barbecue? Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh my God, it got out of my head. Know? Damn, yeah. we are soulmates. That's reverse psychology. Yeah. 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 Now, yeah. you just got that extra works. chips on the table, too. Right? That's yep. a life hack right there. Yo, that's yeah. a straight life hack. I love that. I was like, damn, that's great. That's smart. Yep. Yeah, it is. But, see, it, you know this. You, your wife is the same. My wife cooks like five days out of the row. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. I try to pick a day to where I could leave it. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So if I'm getting off early, I'm like, baby, look, let me grab something. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Or get yeah. ready, we're going out. Yeah, or yeah. something. Yeah. Get ready, we're going to go out and have something. Cause, because she cooks five days a week. Right. Which that makes it so much easier. Mm -hmm. But then mm -hmm. I don't get to pick what we're eating. But I never got to pick anyway. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it, right that, you can cook whatever like, you what want, you baby. Want? I'm smashing What's all of it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was my, that's my favorite thing about being married is like, one, I ain't got to do my laundry no more. Yeah, That's yeah. amazing. That's, That's super awesome. But, and the kids ain't got to do their laundry neither. Yeah, right? I'm like, hey, you got me a good one, right? Straight up? Yeah. So, <laughs> it works. You'll see it. Isn't that right? <laughs> I pointed that out the other day. I'm like, look, son. I'm like, hey, the hamper's full. I'm like, but at the end of the day, it's empty. And the clothes are clean. I don't know how it happens. I know. And she just looked at me like in the dishes. They're full in the sink. Later in the day, they're gone. I yeah. don't know what it's, happened. It's wild. She's just looking at me like, for real? Yeah. <laughs> All I'm saying is God's real. Yeah, right. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's real. It's like, thank you. Thank you. Thank for you, thank you for everything. It's the little things it in is. life. Yeah. And the big things. The big mm -hmm. things. No, for sure. No, um, I think that, uh, I, I think I always wanted to be like, no, I just want to travel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was always like, man, if we have the kids, we're going to not be able to travel. We're not going to be able to do stuff. And like the first like couple times, like, um, going to California, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We're like, oh fuck, this is hectic, right? Then boom, we go to Hawaii. I'm like, fuck, this is a little less hectic, you know what I'm saying? Got moms with me this time, it's okay? To, yeah, but you know, but you traveling with five kids, oh, yeah. you know it's what I'm saying? Yeah, plus I, I brought my brother and sister, yeah. my little sister, she's, it was 17 at the time, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And my little brother, he's 23, those are kids to me. Yeah. So like, yeah. I gotta watch them too, you know right. what I'm saying? So like, I'm like, man, we got nine kids with us, you know? And then we go into Jersey. And then we go to New York, and we go to DC, and I'm like, damn, okay, you know what? We are getting this thing down now, yeah, you know what I'm bad. saying? Yeah. So now, like, we travel with everybody. Went to Puerto Rico, and I was like, and this was easy as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this was super easy. And then now, like, I'll go on, like, I'll have to shoot up to Charlotte, you know what I'm saying? Or I'll have to go to DC, right? And then I don't bring them. Now, it, I, I don't even want to be here. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's a business trip, yeah. but my business here is only an hour and a half of yeah, what right. I have to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna talk you for an hour and then done. I'm done, right? Yeah, right? So I'm like, damn, now I ain't even up here. And you know, I wanted to make it a turn and burn because it was. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, well, if I bring all five kids and everything, disrupt everything just for me to fly out. But now I'm like, damn, now traveling ain't even fun without. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. You know fam. what I'm saying? Yeah. Now it's like Mr. Fan. So then I go to Nashville and I'm like, they're like, no, nah, let's go hit here and here. And I'm like, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do there. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are we gonna do there? And they're like, "Oh, look at all this stuff." Yeah, but my, I really don't want to look at it yeah. if like my people ain't right, there. Exactly. Yeah, look at it with me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, it's like, what's the point now? Yeah, it's like, what's yeah. the point now? You know, that's why we know it's a simulation. Uh, yeah, just that <laughs> there alone. Circle back. <laughs> <laughs> I said all that to say yeah. this. Right. <laughs> well done. Yeah, we had went to Nashville in a day and come back. That was we did. Yeah, that. but we went and hung out with Steve-O. 
That was cool. That was cool. Yeah, like yeah. Steve was a fucking cool right? cat. You seem like yeah. Really yeah. Cool. And we hung out with Buck. Yep, young Buck. Yeah, okay. Shout out, Buck. Listen to his new music and oh, bro, I've been trying to get him to send me that shit. He won't send Dude. that shit to me. Cause he thinks I'm gonna leak it. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but it felt good just to hey, you drive. Yeah, we would. I, 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 that's the thing. I am gonna share it out to a few of my friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he knows I would. Because yeah. I do that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, I already right. heard it. So you're gonna send it to me anyway. You feel excited. me? Yeah. yeah, I get excited yeah. about his music. You're gonna send it to Dobby because he, he heard it too. You know. You know, and there. then yeah. So then I gotta send it to a couple other people because yeah. I don't want them to feel left out. And right? they send it, and then you know it's a whole yeah. thing. You know, yeah. And then you know, you know now we don't make <laughs> now, now we don't make no money on the streams because somebody else is making it off his new songs. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. No, but uh, I gotta I gotta go to Texas. Uh, I just like pretty much live in North Carolina now. I'm mm-hmm. there all the time. But I gotta go to Texas next month. And um, we, I uh, kind of put one of my buddies on, uh, you know, Shaka. Nah, he's, shout out Shaka. Shout out Shaka. Okay, he's awesome, right? man. He's a cool right. ass cat, Middle, right? Okay. He's super young, yeah. super spunky. Yeah. He's got this country thing going, mm-hmm. and he's like. Best music videos when it comes to like country rap. Best. He's got hey, his look. I'm going to say, there, I'm like, say best yes. a lot of just videos in general. Period. He, Period. he makes reels and shit, mm-hmm. and okay. it, it, it just, it's fucking great. Oh, yeah. Great. Like, Take if you get on Instagram hey, yeah. right now, I'm pretty sure he's probably got 12 videos popping. Yep. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a cool ass cat. He's from. uh. Right on the other side, Tennessee on Tennessee side. side. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, you're on the Tennessee side. Damn. Yeah, cool so dude, he's cool ass cat. Yeah. Um, but he always up in North Carolina. Like, he was like, blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, yeah, I fuck with <laughs> he's it. He's like, I can't find the idol. Yeah. <laughs> 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 dude, <laughs> and dude, dude is such a cool cat. So uh, we we got him a feature with uh, that Mexican OT. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. so we're gonna go shoot out there and go, go do the music videos. That's fire. Right. So I'm like, oh, I love Texas. That's what's up. You know, up. Texas is so awesome. It's the only place you can hunt uh, pigs from an airplane or a, a helicopter. How you know that? You can fucking do that. Because I, I like Ted Nugent. <laughs> <laughs> I like Ted Nugent, and he's got a farm. And he does that shit, yeah. Roll up 30 feet off the ground, slide that open, and they're like... <laughs> Dude, in, like, but, yeah. in, in, I don't know if they're like... Well, they're, I don't know if they're doing yeah, that. They're you just watching too many movies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're probably like real. a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. One time, you know. Because they're evasive, man. Like, you know, they start, like... The, when they root and stuff, like, they get their horns. Yeah. Like, the, they, they will tear up the yard. Do you know why they're now. super evasive, though? It's because they don't want to die. It's crazy. <laughs> like that's Ooh, why I know. I'm like I'm gonna run too. Who the There's a helicopter with a guy yeah. with a gun. I'm gonna run. Never seen that before. <laughs> they, well, I, fucking, they need to start showing the pig Scarface. Right. <laughs> Any World War II movie. But then, like, you get the pigs that are, like, the resistance. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, come on, Ted. You know? Yeah. Viva the pig. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. That'd be what's up. But, yeah, you should do that when you go to Texas. Dude, just start, like, black bandanaing all hey, the pigs. Up. going crazy. No, I just like make a full resistance. I'll be like their leader. I got pigs at my house. I'll pull yeah. them up and be like, look, talk to them. You know what I'm saying? I'll be their leader. Like, Black old blue mo, bro. Goes back, comes back. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they got they're like pig tats and shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Oink right there under the eye. Like, packs on and everything. You know? Yeah, That'd hell yeah. Cool. Pork lives matter. Pork yeah, lives matter. That's what's up. That's what's up. Dude, that's fucking great. Yeah. See what I'm saying? We need to make that. Dude. They, we made a lot of If you stuff, build it, they would talk, come. Right? Like, yeah. what did we say that one time? He always donates to charity, but when she ain't, she ain't working, it gives a destiny. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I always donate to charity. But when she ain't at work, <laughs> I'll donate to Destiny. We should put all that on a t-shirt, man. That's so bad. I'm telling you, we should have a but t-shirt. But we set it around phones, so tomorrow on Facebook, somebody's going to be selling it. Oh, shit. I'm already getting <laughs> the message. How it is. Did you check out the new shirts? What the fuck? Right? No. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Hibbit Sports already has it printed. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I like shop to Hibbit Sports one time, and I go in there, and they're like, um, yeah, what's your phone number so you can get your deal? I give them the phone number. And they're like, no, you're not in our system. So I'm like, okay, we'll put that phone number in, my, in the system. It yeah. has my number. She's like, okay. This happens every fucking time I go to Hibbit Sports. And all the time, like three days a week, they send me these fucking, look, 5% off. Deals. They send the deals, yeah. right? Yeah. They send you all the text. And it don't matter and I if actually, like, it stopped. They're like, if it says like text stop to stop, you can oh, text no. stop and it's like, hey, you think. Oh, you <laughs> think? Oh, we're going to double this yeah. shit up now. Right? Yeah, yeah, you're getting a new one in the morning. Now we got some in the mailbox. <laughs> Hope you're like 5 a.m., motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wake up, it's him. It. <laughs> it's going through the do not disturb. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. It's going straight through. Now they start emailing you and shit. Yeah. Yeah. You get people knocking at your door at 3 a.m. 
<laughs> That'd be get bad. We brought you the deal. I got. You. I brought them to you, bro. <laughs> yeah. I knew you was missing out. I didn't want you to miss out. You got a beautiful house. <laughs> yeah. Give me a lift back. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Uh, I Ubered out here and he was pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to trade him Jordans, but he was like, nah, not again. <laughs> Fool me once. You know what I'm saying? You know? But that's how they get you. Like, yeah, every time. Like, give me an email, give me a phone number. It's like I always give them my enemy's phone number. Oh, yeah, piss them off. My yeah. ex's phone number. Like, Hell yeah. I, I, I ain't got the 8675309. They're like, that's a song. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, if you think about it, that's sure. actually still a Listen, number. Listen, life is a song. Right. I'm just here for the but melody. If you think of it, you take numbers, for instance, just real quick. You take a credit card, there's yep. 16 digits on the front. Okay, you can only do zero through nine. So if you guess any of those 16 digits, you have somebody's, somebody's debit credit card. and credit card. Yeah. So how's to say that you can't do that with a phone number? You know? Yeah. Right. So numbers. Yeah, well, I will say that you're just going to have their credit card, but then you have the fucking variable of putting and matching that security code. Yeah. That's true. And so you have a better days. chance of winning the lottery than or figuring that out. you get a voice changer and you're like that granny that needs help. And they're like, well, okay, we'll help you, Mrs. Such and Such. We'll log into your account. They do all this. <laughs> I worked at a bank, dude. Like, I'd hear somebody, they'd call me, hey, I let Comcast on my computer and now I'm negative 10 grand. Yeah. I'm like, that wasn't Comcast. They said, well, they were so helpful. I'm like, they're supposed to be because yeah, they're man. scammers. Yeah. 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 yeah, my mom hit me up one time and uh, I got a little bit of money. I think I made like five grand or something mm -hmm. doing something. And uh, I was like, shit, I'm going to Gatlinburg for the weekend. You know what I'm saying? Phones are going to be off. So, you know, and I'm telling my mom this, right? Mm -hmm. Boom, I come back. And, you know, my mom thinks I'm just a lunatic anyway. So, like, I come back and I get to Nashville and my mom calls me. She's like, what the fuck? Well, I had forgot that like two weeks before this, um, I had purchased something on her card, mm -hmm. yeah. right? And like me and her would share this USAA account, yeah. right? So like I would deposit in there, she would deposit in there, and it was like building up my credit, cause I was like 19, yeah. you yeah. know what I'm saying? So it was like building up Help my that shit. Foundation. Yeah. yeah, so like, um, it was cool because it was like establishing it. She's teaching me how to do credit. Yeah. She works in finance and shit. So we had this card and I bought something online, right? And it was like 70, 80 bucks, right? Right, right before I left, right? Well, that like leaked out the fucking card information, okay. right? Ooh. So they bought like a $9,000 room in Arizona, <laughs> right? Ran and then up. like spent like seven grand on some other shit, mm -hmm. right? So... When I got back and turned on my phone, my mom was like, what the fuck did you did go you do? do? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, what are you talking about? I went to Gatlinburg for the weekend. She was like, no, 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 motherfucker. You went to Arizona, didn't you? Gatlinburg, Arizona. I'm like, no, I <laughs> yeah, didn't. I right. literally went an hour and a half up the road and got this, like, I, I spent a thousand dollars. I get it, yeah, I shouldn't have spent the grand, you know? But it wasn't on the car, it was like, out of the no, money we just made, you know? Grand. Yeah, yeah. so she was like, well, where the fuck are these charges from? I'm like, oh no, I didn't do those now. Nuh uh. Don't put that on me. Right? Nope. Not me. That was not me. You better call and get this shit fixed. You know what I'm saying? I got no family in Arizona. I'm supporting you. Uh -huh. <laughs> nope. Not even trying to cross that fucking border. I mean, even though Arizona's nice this time of year. Still. Arizona's just like California to me. It really? was weird, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. The um the last time I went It's hot, right? Well, yeah, it was super hot, but like everybody had swimming pools, so I was like oh, in there okay, the yeah. whole fucking time. That's and everybody cool. drank. Okay. So like the whole time I was like in a pool drunk the entire time I was there. Can't so I was like, yeah, bloody, I didn't like this. That's bad. I'm drinking in a pool. Fucking half Puerto Rican, I don't get burnt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I, mom's Cherokee, like half Cherokee, so you know it, it helps. But I'm still a redhead, so yeah. like, I burn twice. Yeah, yeah, so you burn I twice. Sleep like this, yeah. That's why you get a boner to keep the blanket off of you while you sleep. Uh, yeah, you know that's exactly what that's for. Yeah, right sleep. before you go to sleep. You know, it's yeah, it's <laughs> 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 kind of crazy. <laughs> it works though. Matt's like all this shit. I gotta edit out. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> leave, leave that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can get sponsored by Viagra now. No, yeah, yeah, Pfizer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 the people that are opposing cannabis. Right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. See, that nah, fuck them. You just you just shot them out, man. That's crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, I could shoot. Them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. I Frank from that. Yeah. No, but uh, I thought it was cool because there was a bunch of dispensaries down there, and okay. there's a bunch of. But they say that whenever you leave a place, whenever you come back, it'll never be the same. Right. So no matter. So if you leave somewhere. 
when you come back, if you have any extended period of time, a year, two gonna years, it's going to be 100% different. That's why I always be joking about the dimensions. I'm okay. like, no, yeah. hey, we're going into a new dimension. It's and just I'd a, be, a different Arizona. Yeah, different part of Arizona. But <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of things that, like, it'll change because you had been gone for so long. Mm -hmm. Right. When you come back, just go think about a store. Right. So, you know, we're creatures of habit. So, yeah. like, there's this one store that you always went in there to go get your White House. You know, you know what I'm saying? Where everything is. Right. You know where everything's at. You know the people that work in there. It's everything's the same, right? Everything's right. exactly the same. So you do that for like two years, right? Mm -hmm. Well, then, you know, you switch up your styles. You switch it up because, you know, we're like cats. You know, we got all these different lives yeah. compact into our one. So, like, we change up our lives. Yeah. And, you know, I, you know what? I don't, even like, I don't even like Arizona iced teas no more, you know? But right. I was addicted to them for like a solid six months. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, every day I went in that store and got that Arizona iced right. tea. But I don't even fuck with them no more. Yeah. Never touch them again yeah, in my like $2. life. $2. You know? I like yeah. them when they were 99 cents. That's but that's our excuse. Yeah, bucks, if man. you liked them enough, you would pay that $2. That's, that's just an excuse. I just make tea now. You know, snap, which is actually really good. It's it is fine. good. It's yeah. really good. Too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. By the way, by the way, shout out. No. Yeah. That's the only drink on Sunday dinners. Yeah, day. that is the truth. Yeah. yeah, we make. Yeah, we have Sunday dinner all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I tell everybody I'm healthy. This is really fucking vodka. No, I'm just <laughs> I mean, yeah. Look at Arkham gonna be leaning, dude. <laughs> Oh, talking shit. in cursive. Yeah. <laughs> talking in cursive. See, that's what I need to say. If I ever get pulled over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I seen this other life hack. Dude said, um, he's like life hack, right? If you're the designated driver, right, and and you know you got a bunch of friends in there, and they're all gonna be drinking, right? Yeah. And you're driving with your people mm -hmm. to get everybody else out of trouble. When you walk out, stumble, right? Stumble around a little bit, get to your car, get in your car, and sit there. The police that's sitting there watching the fucking to see who's gonna be pulling out, because that's what they do. They'll sit there and watch and see mm -hmm. who walks out and fucking hops in. Yeah. And you just stumble like a motherfucker, get in your car. Because by the time that all of your friends get in their cars, mm -hmm. right, and all the people there get in their cars, yeah. and you pull out, they roll in your ass, right? Everybody else is getting away. And you'd be like, what's going on? Yeah, hello officer. Yeah, no, my yeah. fucking yeah. shoes were tied when I walked up. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, I'll get out and do the sobriety test yeah. and everything yeah. else. And he's like, look, it took me 30 minutes, saved everybody jail time. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, that's, that's legit. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, take that bullet. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That yeah that's sense. legit. That yeah. is. I would fully do that. You that's do that. fire. Yeah. That's the grenade you jump on as a friend, you know? Yep. Straight up. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. I'll continue to do that. Or like, call somebody, you know? Like, yeah. like hey, me and my girl argument. I need to step away. I'll call you. What time y'all argue? What time y'all argue? Oh, God. Yeah. You know? oh, it's an emergency. You know? Oh, yeah. No, I, I do that with my wife. Like, I'll, I'll hit up my wife and I'm like, I'll be texting her. And I'm like, baby, I need to leave. These guys are fucking on it. Like, yeah. So she'll wait like 10 minutes. I'll have my phone just sitting there. And then uh, I'll be like, oh, shit, it's my wife. The fuck? No answer. And she's just going off. Where the fuck are you at? Right. Da, 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 da. I fucking told you, my God. Yeah. And I just get up and I'm like, baby, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, I look, I know I was da 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 and I leave, right? Once you get in the car, you're like, I love I'm like, yo, thank you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. man, I, was, I was dying in there, man. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Damn it, dude. It this works, is man. gonna be broadcasted. And they're gonna be like, for real, bro? But well, they never know. That, that was, no, that night she was really mad though. Yeah. That's right? a different oh, story. Exactly. That yeah. night she was really mad. <laughs> See, I'm not gonna tell mine though. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's Sally, she'll look at me and like give me the eyebrow. And that's yeah. like, we ready to go. Yep. I can be having the time of my life. Yeah. And <laughs> she's like, we ready to go. We're, yeah. we're done here. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I just started. Yeah, no, that's how marriage is, though. Plate. No, that's how marriage is. Yeah. yeah, that's marriage because, like, if you're fucking hating being there, your okay. wife is gonna have the time of her life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the second you start having all this fun, she ready to go. Oh, she ready to go. It's done. She, she no, listen, I, I'm I done here. Home. I need to go home. Yeah, <laughs> I need to take a shit. Yeah, you know? and a shower. Yep. I feel good. Then you get home and they're like, "What you want to do?" I'm like, "Get out." No, no, no you're done. <laughs> you're done. You're done. You're, get out of your house. <laughs> No one y'all is gonna be on the couch. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's why I buy a comfy couch. We'll see. You know, that was my whole goal in life. I was like, I gotta get rich enough to get a guest bedroom. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, Oh, for your when your mom stays, that's so amazing. I'm like, Exactly that, babe. Exactly that. For when my sweet mother stays, she has a beautiful spot for her to be in there. In there. She'll need. <laughs> <laughs> 
My mom, dude, Doritos. she's a gamer. She's a gamer. Yeah. <laughs> she's going to need her own router up there, matter of yeah. fact, that we're talking about. The extender then, so that she has the best Wi-Fi in the house is in that yeah, room. Maybe a couple locks, too, for privacy. Yep, yeah. of course, of course. You know, and, some you know, food. Yep, yeah, some food. You know, yeah. Maybe your food. A mini fridge. <laughs> Which we got the same favorite, so yeah. it's cool. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I know all the beer to stock in there, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was yeah. raised by her. I would know. Yeah. You know, she Straight loves up. Corona. The linens. She loves corona. Loves Corona. My mom comes by. My wife's like, I got you a Corona in the fridge. She's like, I don't drink. It's like, well, I got you a mini fridge in the Xbox that you wanted in the guest room. Why the fuck would I want a mini fridge full of beer in the Xbox in the guest room? I'm over here like, Mom, shut the fuck up. Be grateful. Be grateful. Where are we dropping? That's all you got to say. Yeah, was- <laughs> Come on. Oh, my cover. Oh, yeah. man. It's so great. It's like, I thought you loved me, Mom. No, but you got to have you gotta have that one friend, though, that just fucks it up, though. I'd be like, look, when we walk in here, dude, don't say anything. Say exactly. And the, the first thing, they're like, it's crazy. He didn't even want me to tell you about that. And I'm like, <laughs> that's nuts, isn't it? Motherfucker. Kevin Hart. <laughs> My bullshit is your bullshit. Yeah, he's like, all right, now don't lie. What does that mean? That means lie immediately, right? Yeah, it means lie Help. immediately. Hell yeah. Help me. Help me, yeah. It's like, because if not, we all suffer. Yeah, you know? I'm telling you. You hit too, bro. Yeah. Yeah. We are never hanging out again. Do you yeah. know what that means? Like, I'm sorry. It's over with. Like, just come, yeah, you're on your own. Yeah. It's sad. Do you know what I realized? When your mother loves your wife, right, that's a bad thing. Because, okay. right, now... My wife is considered the favorite child now. Yeah. Right? I'm like, mommy, you didn't fucking birth her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You lived with me your whole life. Remember that? She's like, I mean, she is my favorite She's like, kid. Yeah, that's yeah. why I'm tired of you. Yeah, that's why I'm tired of you off. Yeah. Right? And then you, when you walk in, and they're both like talking about the shit that you do. Mm-hmm. He leaves He leaves all of his shoes all over the floor. He still does that. Oh my God. I know. And it's like, I don't know why <laughs> I want to tout him with, with him. You know? got it from my mom. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? So like, they're both just bashing me. And I'm like, ah. Oh, uh, you know what? I just came in for a fucking beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fucked up. Now, I get it. I'm back on the fucking Call of Duty. I'm, making I'm sure out. y'all are still here. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I, they had both stop and just look at me. Like, all the stuff that they were just talking about is completely true. Yeah. And they're like, I can see it right now. And you're like, no, nah, no. Mm-mm. You just hit him with the smile and walk out. Yeah, mm-hmm. appreciate y'all. Mm-hmm. And by the sixth one, you don't really care what they're fucking yeah, saying at that point. You're sitting there with yeah. them like, do I do that? But I realize, yeah. but I realize at the same token, all we're doing right is you're searching for someone like your mother, right? If you had a like, if you had a good relationship with your mother, you're searching for somebody like that, like that, and that comes right? From, that comes so from, when yeah. they have a lot of the same attributes and a lot of the same morals and values, you know what I'm saying? They do a lot of the same thing. My mother cooked all the time. My mm. wife cooks all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My mo- my wife is the same. I'm going to whoop that ass yep. yeah. as my mom. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like you, you get that in life. And then I'm like, wait a minute, man. As a kid, you're like, man, I can't wait to grow up. I'm gonna have my own place. I ain't gotta listen to my mom's no more than you meet yep. a woman and she's telling you what to do. And mm-hmm. you're like, I'm cool with this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'll but rock only this. I allow it. Because I allow it. Because I allow it. I'm the man of the house. <laughs> you, tell me what to do. you know what I'm saying? I, I'm still the man of the house. And yeah. they're like, whatever you think, honey, you're yeah. good. I got you. Who's my uh-huh. big boy? Yeah, you're, who's my big boy? Yeah, you are the I'm man, like, aren't you? I am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the big boy. Give me the pickle jar. Yeah, she's like, do you want some cookies? I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> In the mini In the fresh, thank you, baby. You, know what I'm saying? you want a hug? Uh, yeah. yeah. Give me a hug. Yeah. <laughs> but look, you can't walk in the house without hugging and kissing her. No. You know what I'm saying? Right when you walk in the house, when you was a kid, you was excited to come yeah. home and kiss and hug your mama. Mom, mom, guess yeah. what I did today? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. That's the first thing you do with your wife. Yeah. You come right in and tell her exactly what you did today. Want that hug and a kiss? No. What kind of food did you make? And uh-huh. you made my bed. Mm-hmm. I love this. You know nice. what I'm saying? I, dude. What can you ask for? <laughs> it look, it's just a hill, right? right? That's all you mm-hmm. do. You grow up, right? And then you do your little thing by yep. yourself, mm-hmm. call those the 20s. And then you shoot back down, right? Yep. And then at the end of the day, your grandkids wiping your ass. Yep. yep. Right? Because you're back to the baby. That's it. Right? You're back wearing diapers. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's just a hill. Literally. That's why they call it over the hill. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Once you get there, you're like, ah, I'm over the hill. Yeah. Yep. It is. It's just done. But it's hey. Like, that's life. It is. It's going to come, you know? Like, the day you're born, you're closer to dying, you know? It's sad, but it's facts. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And that's what, another thing. It's like, you, you. there's two days you don't live 24 hours. That's the day you're born. 
Yep. You know? Ooh. I never thought about that. Yeah. yeah. There's only oh. two days. Well, what if you die in the middle of it? Like, I don't know. Was, you got 23 hours and 56 minutes, man. You die in four well, minutes right there. Hey, we'll round up. Die and come back. That's what I'm talking about. And it's like, wow. What would it like? Do you get a reset? Like, if you die and come back, is that identity dead and you can change your name and get a new social? Oh, that'd be kind of cool. It's like, fire. I didn't like who I was. You were like, no, no, the debt, the debt I have with the credit, no, 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 <laughs> yeah, no man, I'm reborn. It's like, like, when I oh. come back, I'm going to it. Yeah, I'm going to eat it right Chelsea now. died. This is the Flash. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like Flash. You know? Yeah. And then they would do interviews on you and be like, this delusional guy yeah. thinks he came back to the Flash after having a four-minute dead session. I would be famous, man. Yeah. Because I'd be like, I like that adjective, delusional. I'm going to sue him for calling me. You know? Yeah, like, you, know, you know what? I like yep. it. Yeah, they it's have like, spell dude. that. Okay, you're sued. You're sued. <laughs> they, <laughs> they just spelled it out to me. Right? You can't tell me what I can't be after I die and come back. You know? That's kind of I legit think that's you know? legit. I mean, didn't they have like that old thing with it? I don't know, maybe it's a myth or something. I never actually like looked into it. Where they said that if you got a death penalty, right? Killed somebody, got the death penalty, mm -hmm. and they and they attempted yep. to kill you, but you did not die from it. You got free. Then you got free. Yep, you got That's out crazy. free. There was yeah. a dude that got lethal injected. His heart stopped for like two minutes and came back, and they had to let him go because yeah. they legally killed him. Yeah. And then, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nuts? Yeah, that's OD. Yeah. Yeah, like you're gonna like go in there. <laughs> I and... would have the jail that's just like, nah, finish him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Make sure. No, no, no. You gotta take him a few times. Hit yeah. him again. Hit him again. <laughs> yeah. You know? No, but like I always thought it was because of like electrocution mm -hmm. when they really started first doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, when uh, what was it? Uh, Jefferson and fucking Nikolai Tesla. Yep. Right. They they started going from the AC and DC currents, and they were trying to sell their electricity and how they were doing it. They right. were going to prisons mm -hmm. and trying to sell the electric chairs. That's where it started. And they were like, right. look, this executes a prisoner and kills him with no pain. Mm -hmm. And they were like hooking him up with the water on the head and the whole nine and like shocking him. And they were like, well, if they do this and they don't die, do they get to walk away from it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I always thought that that's where that wow. thing came from. Because now it's just lethal injected because there was, there was three. It was uh, electric chair, firing squad, and lethal injected. Oh, uh, Tennessee, you can still opt for the firing squad. You can? Yep. Damn. I'd rather for that because, I mean, a bullet's going to, you know, it's, it's not going to be a dud like an IV could be. You know what I mean? Well, man, but check this out, right? Say they light your ass up, but they're not hitting you in all the right, right spots. spots. Oh, you gonna be burning all the way over there to you fucking die? Oh yeah, shit! Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Like come on, get right. a headshot, camp or something. <laughs> fucking like, camp or something. Up, yeah. You got a sniper. Wait, it is true. I know somebody who took a bullet to the head and they're still alive. Yeah. Yep. Wow. My dad. Yeah. Like next time you see him, he's got. Yeah. Right here, and it come out right there. Oof. Yeah. 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 Really seen, look at that. But yeah, it, I've met a couple people that've been shot. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It is crazy, and things happen. Things happen. It's not your time. Yeah. You this know? is not true. Your time. Hell yeah. And I look at I, that. That going back to creator. Like, I, I fully believe. You know, there are steps laid out for us to follow, and it's up to us to find those steps. You know. Yeah. It's like I tell everybody, God will open a thousand doors for you. He'll walk with you through them, but he won't push you through them. Yep. You know, yep. he wants to see you. That's where the free will comes. Like yep. Faith, faith, like, you know, childlike faith, stuff like that. Yep. I mean, as Allie was saying the other day, imagine if faith made you, like, heavier. And she's like, babies would be so heavy. Yeah. Because, you know, yeah. like, yeah. childlike it's faith. It's all faith. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, it's all faith. So, you know? it, and you, you have to. You got to walk by faith. Whether, even if you don't believe, like, think about one foot in front of the other, you know. Like, yeah. It's simple. Life is, you got to go get it. You, you got to go get it. There's nothing that you... And there's nothing you can't do that you anything's possible if you believe. Oh, I did Ed and Cam. And I did their before. podcast. Oh my gosh, it, uh, Which one do I do? Afro Man? Yeah, Afro Man, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah Afro yeah, Man. Yeah. But Afro Man's a frequent flyer. He's always a cool dude to talk to. Yeah, I watched that. He's one, one of those awesome. guys. Uh we talked about parenting a lot. Yeah, that was great, because you're like, I wish would have had like a the baby mama would have had a, this is my uh, attributes or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, this is what I'm good at, this is what I'm not good at. It's oh, yeah, like fully. Yeah. You have a, a resume? Yeah, resume, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got a resume for a chick, it's right? It's like when you holler at me, like, hey, what's up? I, hold on. Let me yeah, see your resume. You this? Hmm. It's kind of huh. like speed dating, but with facts. Yes. <laughs> see, know? okay, so a guy would need a resume. A woman just needs to know you're signed. That's true. She's yep. like, oh, 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 you're a cancer. Like, what's your sign? Okay. 
Dude, <laughs> oh yeah, my, dude, my daughter used to piss me off because I didn't know about signs, and like my other daughter, she's born in July, yeah. so uh, Ariana would be like, ah, she's such a cancer. I'm like, don't fucking say that about yeah, your little sister, true. dude. Like, damn, dude, she's not a fucking cancer. She's like, no, she is. <laughs> and I'm like, no, she's not, dude. Relax, like, bro. Why are you saying that? <laughs> yeah. And she's like, no, no, her sign is a cancer. I'm like, oh. oh. Got okay, it. I get it. I, didn't, I don't know about these things. I thought you were just saying that your little sister's a fucking cancer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, no, because in my world, cancer's bad. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> like, if you got cancer, you got, you, we need to go to the doctors. Yeah. We need, we need to get, get this shit cut out. That's worse, yeah. In the uh-huh. world. Yeah, but that sign stuff is true, because I hear all the time, like, you must be a, and I always get them, I'm like, you're right. And they're like, yeah, really? I'm like, no, I'm yeah, <laughs> you know? I'm, I'm a cancer. Like, you, you must be a Scorpio. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I love Scorpios. They're like, yeah, because they're... <laughs> I'm from Arizona. How did like, you know? I've got red hair and red beards usually. And I'm like, yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah. a crab. Yeah, I'm a crab. I love Mortal second. Kombat. Yeah, 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 I love yeah. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> no, that shit's super funny. So, like, the wife started really getting into it, mm-hmm. right, and, and reading it all. And, and the way that I looked at it was, like, yes, if I... Am a card reader, Pharaoh, or the tarot people, mm-hmm. and like, yeah. and I was doing that. I could just make an assumption about a few things, oh, right? Yeah. All you have to do is talk about pain and joy, yep. right? You talk about a few things about pain. Have you ever had? Oh, you've suffered from some pain. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. And they're like, I oh do. My God. Yeah. And I'm like, you, you lost <laughs> somebody close to you, yeah. uh-huh. right? And they're, they're like, like you work I did. My <laughs> uncle's cousin's aunt died. <laughs> How did you know? I yeah. actually used to go get ice cream twice over there. Yeah. You know, and it's yeah. like, and then you're like, and they're like in the summer, and they're like, yeah, in the summer, <laughs> right? In, in the summer, summer. yeah. 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 It's like, like, oh my you, god, yeah. yeah. It's like you used to unwrap the ice cream. Right? Yeah. It's like, oh my god. Yeah, your, your father was you there watching. Everything. Yeah, yeah. You know? he it was. was. It was hot. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it's so fucking funny. But, but, but they could get people that way. Oh, you so get people. You know, I've like been another got. Hundred, another hundred. Oh, I've been got. You know? Yeah, I've been got. And like, I'm walking across the street with the wife, and I'm like, babe, she was amazing. She knew everything. It's like she had. And she's, she's like, you up on Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> she yeah. just googled you. Facts. You, you know? like Rolls Royces. Right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> and double flips. Yeah. Does the word skateboard mean anything to you? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, and that's, that's, what, they, that's what they do, man. Yeah, that's, hell that's yeah. They, I mean, think but you it. know what? I do the same thing when it comes to marketing and talking to people. You gotta right? Move. You I gotta just, move. I just, I'll look them up and I'll find out a few things about them, right? And I'm like, all right, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna say, right? Yeah. Some people you could be hood. Some people you gotta be business. Mm-hmm. Some people yeah. you gotta be different. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, I go to church every Sunday. You yeah, got to yeah. talk about religion. You got to yeah. talk about skateboarding. You got to talk about hip hop. Some people yeah. you can't put you on country for. At. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. You got to see where they're at because once you become relatable, then you can sit and converse with individuals, yep. right? And they're gonna holler at you. Yeah, because ninety percent of people are gonna just immediately judge you by your cover, mm-hmm. right? Okay. So if you're gonna meet up with somebody and you know that he works for the Dallas Cowboys, yeah, and you're in Texas, right? And you look him up and he's a white dude in his 50s, you're like, okay. If I pull up and I got sagging pants and I'm fucking just slumping boosty when I pull up, yeah. yes. what is his first thought? Mm-hmm. Right. Right. That's a fact. But if I if I pull up and I got the flannel going on yeah. and I'm listening to some George Strait mm-hmm. and I hop out and I'm singing it, he's like, oh, I love George Strait. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh, me too. Yeah. How are you doing, brother? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nice but like, I'm in yeah. Texas, you know? Yeah. So like, yeah. but you got to think of who yeah. you're about to talk exactly. to. Exactly. Right? Because honest. first impression is yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So in the same token, if I'm feeling to go pull up in Nashville, mm-hmm. right? I I'm not gonna independent. Well, the people that I go and talk to in mm-hmm. Nashville anyway, I'm gonna be pulling up and talking to them. I'm gonna be bumping some. I'm gonna hit some shit that's thumping yeah. in the trunk. You know stuff. what I'm saying? You know, yeah, or their stuff. Their yeah, stuff. I'll be yeah. bumping their stuff. You know what I'm saying? Putting their shit on. Because how many people can say that? Yeah, you know, you'll be bumping the people you go to see. Those are my yeah. favorite. Those are my favorite. That's what I'm it's, saying. It's crazy because a lot of my favorite artists. I know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can call them so right now. So I support them fully yeah. as a fan and know them. And like, I sh- want to tell them a critique or tell mm-hmm. them, dude, hey man, I'm fucking loving what you're doing, you know? And and they need to hear that too. But you got to have your friends and you got to have your people boost you. Yep. Right. You got to have your people boost you. Anybody that's not boosting you, anybody that's doubting you or having any disfaith in you, fuck them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't it's even be a part angers, of them. Man, you know, and then always... Bad. 
if you got somebody doing something and it doesn't matter what they're doing, yeah. right? If they're doing a clothing line or they're waiting to get this job interview, you hit them up and you're like, dude, what you're doing is fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. Everything that you're doing is amazing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Reach out, hit them with that. You know, and, and, it, and it does wonders it does for seem, people. It yeah, does wonders for people. They'll even more after that. Yeah, because think about it. As you're manifesting something and you're like, man, I want to get this. I want to get this, dude. I know that I got this. I can fucking do it. I know I can do it. And then one of your people hits you up. It doesn't matter how close you are to them. It could be your brother. It could be somebody that you've only talked to three times. Yep. And they hit you up and they're like, bro. Love what you're doing. You're gonna fucking shine. Keep mm -hmm. doing what you're doing. You yeah. getting that boost. You're like, thank you, yep. thank you, because now that's boosting my manifestation. Now I really know. Now I know in my fucking heart Stand I'm up. gonna make it because other individuals believe in me just as much. Mm -hmm. So you gotta push those. You gotta have that faith. You gotta have the people that are Took pushing you, taking you out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They're like, yo, for sure, you, for sure, man. because that's you. how we get big. Yeah. yeah, straight up. Yeah, you show so you tell somebody that you see, just like in a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. If you're in a relationship and you're going through the day, right, and you shoot your girl a text right hey you killing it today i you love what you're this. doing you yeah. got this you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. she gonna be boosted up ain't nothing yeah. you, can't do. you know what i'm saying there ain't nothing you can't do let's let's kill it and she gonna be boosted up you feel yeah. me and it doesn't matter if she just at home with the kids right exactly. you know what i'm saying you shoot that message hey look i just want to let you know how badass of a mother you are yeah. but that's you know what i'm saying yep. and, and that best. support is huge because while we try to build our manifestation mm -hmm. we're gonna have doubts yeah, yeah and yeah. doubts kill manifestations it does. immediately it does. Yeah. the second you start having doubt all your dreams and aspirations out the fucking window. Down you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you don't believe you're going to land that kickflip, yeah. you're not going to fucking land it. If yeah. there's any ounces of doubt in there, that ounce of doubt is heavy as fuck. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't going to get that job. You, get get that that job. Girl, you know, you know yeah. it doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. You know, And if you want to keep it and you want to keep rolling, like I plan on being with my wife till the, I'm dead. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I want to keep that faith that she knows where I stand and where she knows that she's got my support. So mm -hmm. I'm going to reach out and say, hey, you know what I'm saying? X, Y, and Z. This is everything. Straight you know, up. and you let it be known into the universe. You put it out there into the universe. Yep. Yeah. And as you're saying, look, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. And you're telling people and you're showing people what you want to do. Mm -hmm. That's going to more and more happen because you're going to get the people that are like, bro, do it. Yeah, fucking do it. Fucking you do fucking it. with it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck everything else. Mm -hmm. Do it. You're shining. Keep fucking rocking. You know what I'm saying? And anybody that says anything different, just ask them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You done. Don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's just noise. Like, Odd them out. You know what I'm saying? And you got it, yeah. Like, like you got to show them where you stand. It's right beside them. Yep, you know? right beside them. You know? Yeah. That's real shit. Yeah, hell yeah. So, you do music. Yeah, man. Um, you know, my name is Vincent Anderson. I'm from this area, Avenue, Virginia. Put out an album. It's available on all streaming platforms. Yep. Uh, throwing Dice. Single is Dice Throwing. Um, I actually appeared on a Fat Joe mixtape a couple years ago. Nice. Um, yeah, man, just trying to rock out. That's kind of like an EP. Um, you know, seven tracks. No, I was um, bumping it on the way. They got a little okay. champagne dream. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shit was slapping. Yeah, 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 that yeah. shit was hell man. slapping. For sure, man. Yep. Um, you know, let's try to get something for everybody on that one. But the next project that I'm working on, album two, really want to showcase some lyrical versatility. Yeah. Um, really want to show that off. This one was more like a sample platter. Mm -hmm. but looking okay. To, looking to provide that entree. I like it. I like it. Like I like the lyricism. Yeah, I like the lyricism because you're going back to real hip hop. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Where hip hop is actual supposed to be at. Mm -hmm. Not It's not mumble rap. It's actual lyrics. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can feed off oh, yeah. of them. Yeah. It's storytelling. Yeah. I mean, it's really good. I, I like the album. Yeah, I listen to it. I appreciate it, it man. Yeah. You know, um, Homegrown, done in the right. studio in the basement. Yeah. My brother did all the beats, but two. I bought the other ones. So. You know, we, we're proud of it, but it's, it's going to get better. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Right, yeah. How long have you been doing music? Man, since I was in like the sixth grade. Yeah. Yeah. Right but now you're starting to take it serious. Starting to take it serious. And like you said, man, overcoming some of those doubts, some of those fears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to surround myself with people that really build it. Yeah. yeah. People that really have that support be the behind it. Yeah, man. Because, you know, a lot of times people don't, they're not vibing with what you're trying to do. You yeah. Know, or they see you trying to do something that they're not doing and they're not hearing it. Yeah. You know, yeah. So it's important to have people like, I'm fucking with what you're doing, man. Yeah. Good job, keep going. Exactly. Yeah. Or even just acknowledging growth. Like, mm -hmm. man, yeah. these, these, these songs you've been doing here lately, though, they different. Yeah. You yeah. Know, at first, I was cool, but this other stuff, you know, it's important to have that. Because, like you said, you have to manifest that. And when people are feeding into your dream, mm -hmm. yep. it's only more likely to come to fruition. Yeah, so. straight up. This is the truth. It alleviates all your doubts when other people are saying the same thing you are. 100%, you know what I'm saying? Man. Um, also, I did. Um, 
you familiar with uh, Four Bar Friday? You ever heard about that? I haven't. So, um, you know, it was big on Instagram a couple years ago, but and especially during COVID, because nobody had nothing to do. Yeah. But it was basically like, they may have a certain beat or instrumental, but people were uploading four bars. Yeah. And they were selected, and I won that twice. Nice. Um, yeah, so yeah. It's been like Dame Lillard doing it, and, oh, yeah. and a bunch of Hell other yeah. stuff. So that, yeah. that was a pretty cool thing. But yeah, I listened man. to his album, too. Damian yeah, Lillard. Dollar. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Dollar. Yeah, 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 yeah I listened to that shit. That shit was tough. Yeah. He cold, bro. <laughs> yeah. He, he cold. Yeah, there's a lot of people that surprise you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, my favorite uh, NBA person that does music is Shaq. Shaq. For, he, Shaq Diesel. For real right now? Yeah. He better than Dollar? Well, I'm not going to say better. <laughs> I'm a businessman. Okay, all right. So, yeah. like, to, to me, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I fuck with it. Come yeah. <laughs> you know, no, actually, I, I, would, I don't think I would ever take an endorsement on the podcast. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I would 100% go into business with Shaq because right. he has a lot of good-ass stuff. Oh, yeah. There's many things that I would like very to do successful. with him. He's very successful. Yeah, he's, yeah. Anything he touches, go to Papa yeah. John's, go by Ice Shot. Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. Auntie Annie's the Yeah, yeah, that song with Biggie. Yep. And even Adam Sandler movies he's in. You know, he's in Grown Ups 1 and 2. Yeah. And he's uh, hilarious. Yeah, he's yeah. hilarious. He's a yeah. good guy just all around. And a good you know what I'm saying? sports announcer, you know? That's, yeah. That's... Uh, biggest thing, he fucks with the kids. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's his biggest thing. Mm-hmm. He does the uh, the Shaquille O'Neal Foundation. Yeah. Yeah, he you know what I'm saying? Out. Where he's real big on giving back to the kids. Because that's who's going to take care of us. That's exactly. going to be our future leaders. Yep. We know? have to have people think of white boy ass. Mm-hmm. We have to. <laughs> <laughs> or we have to have people that, you know, that put it in place for that. No, we do that. Ain't gonna have kids. Me and Sally ain't gonna have kids. So I'm like, hey, I gotta. We we'll get my niece and be like, hey, when yeah. I'm old and gray, you gonna have to, you know. Yeah. She's like, yeah. hey. I'm like, well, just push me down a half pipe into a volcano. You know? <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool with it. I'm cool. Yeah. Yeah. My last double. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's gonna be me. You know? Yeah, it's gonna be me. Hell yeah. You're really gonna see the light. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For real on that one. I'm gonna be the light for a second. <laughs> Man, know? I could. I, I don't think I could fuck with that. Like, I'm from California, so I'm cool with the heat. But these mother truckers, they be out there like scooping lava. Yeah. You know or what I'm saying? Or just smacking it barehanded? No. I, I seen that video. No, like, hell no. If you got sweat on your palm, yeah. like Eminem, yeah. you can smack any kind of magma. And it he said like you. Eminem? Right? I'm going to be the dude on the side watcher. I'm not just... Yeah, yeah, I ain't doing none of that. Yeah, 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 no, none of that. It's, a, it's, a, it's like that membrane. It, I don't know. It's a scientific word. But yeah, your hands... Because you, when you're close to it, your body's going to sweat. You're going to feel that already. Yeah. So yeah, they straight up, this dude, sweaty. Start smacking the magma. And Ain't no science in the world. Hell no, <laughs> I'm straight. And then Bill Nye comes in. He's like, yeah, it's because of this. <laughs> I was just about to say. Straight up. He's like, it's just 18 lettered words. Yeah. It's, it's basically just a sweaty palm. Yeah. yeah. Of course, he had to pop up. Yeah. 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 He's Bill just, all is a water glove. They, they were going to be like, no, crazy. I actually, I take pills because I get sweaty palms. <laughs> yeah. So like, they're dry all the time. It's like, actually, it's CGI and it's water. Yeah, you know? CGI and it's water. <laughs> it's mom's spaghetti. It's like, yeah, it's like, <laughs> that shit will burn you, though. Right? Every time. The roof of your mouth. Every your fucking time. Yeah. <laughs> I love that shit. Well, hell yeah, man. It was real good having you on. For sure. Y'all man. need to check yeah, him out, man. Real. Vinny Vegas. Mm-hmm. He's got some fucking tough shit. Hey, I fuck with that. Hell yeah, I gotta let I, you gotta let me listen to it when you drop that shit too. You better send me that I'm out. I'm gonna let you hear some Hell shit. Hell yeah, yeah. brother, I super appreciate you coming on. Appreciate you having me. Chessie, thank you. Hey. Hell yeah. Living the dream. Yes, sir. Thank you, mother truckers. <laughs>